In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change, well, actually, how to take off front wheel on a Triumph 1050. As you can see, the tire, it's all wear out. It's no longer round, so need a new one. Also, you can see here, it's no more, no tread anymore left. So I'm gonna change this one. To change the tire, you'll need a six mil Allen key to take these two off. Then you're gonna need special tool like this which is actually well, for this case we're going to use the 22 mil uh, allen key it's a hexagon and also we will have to remove the calipers otherwise the rim will hit in there to remove the allen the calipers we will need the 8 mil if i'm not mistaken 8 mil allen key and they need to be removed on both sides. So this two here, this on the other side, this two here, and this one. And the wheel should come off. So let's crack on. Okay, before starting to undo anything, we're gonna have to lift the front wheel because, as you can see now, it's sitting on the center stand, and all the weight is on the front wheel. So we can lift it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this axle stand, which I'm gonna put it here after I'm gonna lift the bike a bit up. It's gonna be a bit hard, but you might need somebody to help you on that, which I'm gonna do also. I'm gonna ask somebody to help me. But first of all, we're gonna loosen this bolt. I'm gonna loosen this one, I'm gonna loosen this one and the other one while it's on the ground and it's stable. You don't have to take them all out. Just can lose them enough to make sure it's not gonna be in your way. So that'll do just fine. Now I'm gonna use this tool. So, so that's the 19 mil socket I need. Which is very tight, of course. And here we go. Okay, now that is free. We're gonna take off the calipers now. Yeah. This is eight mil. I'm gonna loosen it a bit. the caliper here so I won't put too much pressure on this I'm gonna tie the caliper somewhere around here so you don't put much pressure on these hoses just to avoid any damage to them okay and uh, the other two Okay, so now I'm gonna go ask for help so I can uh, 
secure the bike and make sure the front wheel is not touching the ground anymore. So with some help I managed to uh, secure the bike by putting this stand here so now the front wheel is moving free. So what I will do now I will take the caliper off, I will take these bolts off Okay, and sometimes you may know that you can't just pull out, so if you just incline a bit like that, you're gonna push the brake fat, and then it's just gonna come out very easy like that. So like I said, I'm gonna tie it here, so it doesn't put too much, let me show you, too much stress on these pipes. With that, I'm gonna use some Zip ties I've got in my garage. Just gonna go through the hole here around the crash bar. You can use anything you've got handy, doesn't matter, it's up to you. I just usually gotta have them. I have them here. So. Okay. Okay, let's take this out and keep it on me. Okay, let's go on the other side. Okay, on the other side, same principle. Round three six, round three six. Take the bolts out. One. Again, try to bend it a bit, a bit this way, a bit that way. So just push a bit to break my spread, and it will come out very nice way, as you can see. Again, I'm gonna tie it up there. Shaft off. There's a spacer here. I advise you to put it like that so you know where it comes. And there is another one on the other side. So the way you take it out, put it in a shaft like that, and you're not gonna forget to put it back on. Okay. So as you can see, I haven't lifted up the bike enough to take the wheel out. So I'm gonna try to see if I can push it down a bit more using help to lift it a bit so I can take it out. If not, I'm just going to wing off and that's it, no big deal. So mainly, that's how we take it out. It's no big deal. Let's give it a go. So I'm gonna 
this and this ring a bit. out and let's see if now it's coming out yep that's it so it was just about a centimeter that wasn't enough so I just undo the lower I took off the lower bolt loosen this one so I just tip it backwards a bit and there's your wheel now let's get to the professional to actually fit the tire without scratching the rim because if I'm gonna do it with no tools I'll definitely gonna scratch the trim and I don't wanna do that so, see you later. And there is new tire on. You can see. Uh, I haven't told you. Make sure before the tire off, mark the direction of the old tire. To make sure to put it the right way. Yes, okay, thank you. You, you can play with that. So, I'm. Okay, I'm out here and I'll be here. Rotation. rotation. Yes, Tati, I understand. A branch is hoeing. A pull it. Don't pull it, you're gonna break it. A You're gonna break it. A branch is rolling where we <laughs> Okay, okay. You're gonna break it, you're not gonna like it. Okay, so, like I said, mark it with a, with a piece of marker, whatever you got in handy. Make sure it matches the rotation of the tire. And that's it, and now we're gonna put it back. Okay, so I'm gonna take my shift. I'm gonna put this on the other side. I'm gonna show you. So Make sure you can see the old, the old position by the grease you got here. So make sure you put your back in in the same position. And again, the other one on the other side. Okay. Carefully feed the wheel between the forks. Try not to catch it like that or fall off both sides. It should go very easily, there's plenty of space. Uh, take your axe and just lift the wheel up. And then by hand, first make sure it is straight on the thread. very important to make sure it's straight on the thread. So don't rush it, take your time. Okay, we are now on the thread as it should be. Okay. 
And I'll, I've got this a bit there. I like it prince. I'm gonna. I like it prince. Take off the uh, access stand. I'm gonna put the wheel on the ground for more stability, so I can tighten very well. Almost there. This one needs to be tightened to 95 newton meters. I'm gonna go to 95, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's it. And now we've got this bolt here, which you need to be tightened to 20 meters. So I've got a smaller tow wrench. And now we're gonna put the calipers. Uh, it's a good thing you can check your brake caliper. You can also clean it if you want. I'm not gonna do that now. These bolts, according to manual, they need to be tightened to 35. So I'm gonna put this to wrench to 35. 
is not a Titan, just because by hand. ABS wire back in his clip. It's all nice and tight. And I'm gonna put back the the bolt from the front wing. Don't just tighten yet. Make sure you fit both sides first. And after you got all the bolts in, you can proceed with tightening. Okay, now I got all four in. You should tighten it about 10 Newton meters. But I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna do it by hand. That's it. You do it. You do it the right way. Use a top wrench if you want. Okay, and that's about it. This is how you replace front wheel. I'll take it off, I'll put it back. Not hard, not easy. Just need a few tools to do it right. Thank you for watching.